I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. On the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tar Heels and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 45. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. That's a great tackle at the 41 yard line. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. So it's second and 14. Ball on their own 41. Throws a bullet over the middle. And they make the stop right around the 50. He's brought down in the open field. Carter gains six yards on the play, and they'll come away with a first down. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at about the 27-yard line. You know, the quarterback that time took a big-time major chance by putting that ball up in the coverage. Now, the receiver made the play. They get a first down. But if you're a quarterback, you want to be very, very selective and very careful on how many chances you're willing to take. They'll bring him down to the 20-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. And they get nice yardage on that run. There's a strike complete. He's taken down around the four-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he hits him hard at the one. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at them. Hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want. Touchdown, Tar Heels! The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Good touchdown run there and a four-wide receiver set. And he hits the PAT. So an 11-play, 74-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That'll bring up second and two. He fights forward to about the 29. That makes it third and three. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. 
solid gain of four yards. First down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Herbert comes away with five yards on the carry. That brings him second and five. Tackle made at the 46. Brings him down. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. From the 48-yard line, second down. He's got it with room to run. And he's taken down at the 41. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Gain of three on the way. That makes it second and six. And now he's got room to run. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That's right, baby. They don't want it. Makes it out to about the 10. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First Got an opening. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's tackled at the two. The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Delayed game, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third down again. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. North Carolina leads it 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Virginia Tech ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. North Carolina is up by four. He 
gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 27-yard line, second down. He flings it. And they intercept it. The junior safety. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. Come on. Hey, check Mike 21. Mike 21. Check Mike 21. Caught with room to work. And down he goes at the 35. Brought down at the 17 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Easy, 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 easy. Let's it fly. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26-yard line. The Tar Heels know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you've got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. They'll drop him for a loss. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop right around the 40. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage. And then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. Around the 50-yard line. And he's tackled right away. and made a nice catch. Most of the time, zone coverage will take away the out route. Not that time. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. 
That makes it second and ten. And here's a quick throw. Flyers in there, got it, touchdown. Play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he tacks on the extra point. It was an 11 play, 74 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 23. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start. Offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 24. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Five yards. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it. They keep moving the defense back. Stops. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. Carter's part of this attack obviously has the attention of the defense, and they got to be a little bit confused by what's going on. Well, Brad, I think they spent the entire week game planning to stop this running game, and they've done a good job of stopping him. The problem is they've left their corners isolated one-on-one, -on -one, and right now the passing game is just killing them. Got it, and brought down immediately. They get a good seven yards on that one. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. North Carolina is up four. He fires this one. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Six. And he's hit immediately. Seven yard gain, and that'll be a first down. This quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. He's taken down right around the four yard line. Touchdown! He makes the PAT. 
A six play, 63 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of center. He sends this one deep. They line up to kick this one away. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. And he tackles him hard at the 27-yard line. That makes it second to eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 27. We've played a half. The Tar Heels lead 21-10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both quarterbacks remaining upright and healthy. In fact, they haven't been breathed on in the first half. Neither team has allowed a sack, and it really speaks well for the relationship that the quarterback has and the feel that he has for his offensive line. No, absolutely, and we always talk about those guys and going out to eat. Well, let me tell you something. They're earning a big, fat steak dinner, and those fat guys get the porterhouses too. They're not a cheap date. Those guys, they're earning it right now, keeping me up and right, keeping the court keeping the quarterback upright, keeping him clean, you know, not letting anybody hit him. You've seen you've seen great Hall of Fame quarterbacks turn average when they get popped and when they get hit and when they get, you know, beat around a little bit. These guys, they haven't even been touched. So you can you can uh, go ahead and say check please right over here cuz that QB better be taken care of. And the quarterback's calling home, "Mom, Dad, please send money." That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. North Carolina. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. The Tar Heels continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they've got the dive package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That's a deep. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Makes the first down catch. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. And he's taken down at the 30. That's a team of 25 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Offense lines up in a five wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. Quick throw. He's tackled in the open field. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. Gets it out quickly. Touchdown, Virginia Tech! And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. So the score now, 21-17. Tackle at the 28-yard line. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. North Carolina holds a four-point lead. And he is drilled. 
the 36-yard line. That makes it second and two. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Your instincts tell you to go for the pick, but you've got to make the best play you can, and sometimes it's just batting the ball away. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And he's tackled at the 46. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. That makes it second and ten. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for him. Seven yards. Third down. Makes it to the 31. Fires right side, got his tail back, and he shoved out of bounds at the 30-yard line. That brings up second and nine. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. North Carolina is up by four. Tenth play of the drive. He's tackled around the six yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Third and inches. Across the middle, caught it, touchdown. Make it three passes for touchdowns. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. And he adds the extra point. An 11-play, 74-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And he just gets rid of it. their own 25-yard line. Second down. And down he goes at the 34. He might have a chance. Makes it to the 44. That's good for a game of 10 yards. First down. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. Let's Taken down in the backfield. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 42-yard line. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. Brought down at the 47. 
Chelsea third, third and seven. seven. Scrambling around. That's a great tackle at the 42-yard line. Newsom back deep to return. He takes it in at the 14. Not a bad return. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Pressure coming. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop right around the 44-yard line. That'll bring up 36. After a decent run up the gut. That'll bring up fourth and one. Oh, excellent punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He makes his way to about the 28. Let's go, D, let's go. Eight yards. That makes it second and two. He fights forward to about the 29. About the 31. Under heavy pressure. Throws it and it's tipped away. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31. And he carries the ball for a nice game. A quarter to go, and can they pull the upset? 28-17, Tar Heel. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Fires it out. They'll bring him down at the 48. With the catch. Gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Taken down around the 41 yard line. Gain of 11 yards. First down. Here we go. Hey, check by 21. By 21. Check by 21. And he hits him hard at the 39. 
He's out of bounds around the 35 yard line. Got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled in the open field. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Defense stacked in tight here. Up the middle for a nice game. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Inside the 10. Touchdown. Big play. So the offense is going to go for two. And they won't get the two. So a 12-play, 80-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Caught, open field. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. Quick pass, and he's level at the 37. Needed that play and he dropped it. From the 37 yard line, second down. He steps out around the 34 yard line. Nearly intercepted. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he got it. Carolina lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And they get nice yardage on that run. Just under three to go in regulation. He scrambled. And he's going to be sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Third and long. This defense digs in here, and it could be their ball game. Going 
thrown deep. Open man, and it's his wide receiver. The 10. Touchdown. Huge play. Very important play coming up, and if they can get these two yards, we'll have a tie ball game. He's on the run. They don't get it. So a short three-play, 75-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tar Heels staff has got to be ecstatic. Whether it's chess or checkers, they're playing out there today. They're winning. Well, this defensive staff trying to slow down this offense came in with a mindset of stopping the running game, first and foremost. And unfortunately for this defense, they've lost a battle out on the perimeter. And right now, they're giving up too many big plays through the air. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. And they lose a couple there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. It's second and 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. two-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. He's hit the 300-yard mark with that throw. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. Off, and he's met in the backfield. The Hokies are going to call their second timeout. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 45 yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 44 yard line. Virginia Tech will take their last timeout. Drill at the 41. He makes it out to maybe the 39 yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 39 yard line, it's second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. This is the ninth play of this drive. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. North Carolina, 31. Virginia Tech, 29. So that wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.